coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Brisbane, Australia, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, wow! Kept it. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Oh, big head kick there. Able to check the high kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Good stick. Back and forth we go. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Unable to connect there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. What a body kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Under two minutes now to go round one. And he landed the right hand there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. 
Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Wow, what a head kick. Checks the leg kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Nice kick. Ooh. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, yes. If you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He takes it all of that kick every time he throws. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Just out of range with that strike. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got flipped with the right hand. Oh, nice. Lands flush with that right hand. And he's looking for that one. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. 
All right, so after he landed a high number of nice kicks run, in the guys, previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here Let's as go, guys, our next fight. round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. I'll telegraph that spinning back fist. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big head kick lands. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Plans the right hand. Nice strike. Just a slip there. Nice. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big punch land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight. Was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. you got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his...